Hello and welcome to Lanier in the Dirt Street Stocks. We're doing some dirt oval racing today. Um, against my better judgment, because sometimes these are uh, a little weird, especially when I tend to run races. Um, it's like, I don't know, probably 11 or something right now. It's midnight. So, uh, <laughs> it's probably single split, if I had to guess. Maybe two split. But, uh... Uh, we'll see if it goes well at all. If uh, if it's starting to look like a huge bloodbath, then I absolutely will just be completely, I'll purposely be completely off the pace and let everyone disqualify themselves because on more than one occasion now, I have seen half the field in these races end up disqualified. So, <laughs> if that ends up being the case, then... then uh, I'm just going to stay far, far away from everybody. One more lap. P6. Or not, whenever I got to the practice session, it was already, like, the, the track was horribly destroyed, so... Ripped up to shreds, so I'm sure I'm not even putting great laps in. I didn't even really get to practice on a track that's uh, as fresh as this, so... Yeah, probably not the best times. I got my force feedback way down, but still a little bit much. It's bumping around, so... Uh, I know, typically, from what I understand, lower force feedback is recommended for these races. So you can kind of counter-steer a little bit better. I think that's good. Got a new paint, because uh, New Year, new paint schemes, something I've been trying to do, but I don't think... Maybe it updated, but uh, for some reason the number didn't update yet, last I checked. I'll have to look again here in a moment. But, uh, that was disappointing. It's still got the own, uh, old uh, number on there, even though I did go into the iRacing UI and all that, change it up. But, uh, I like the scheme I found on trading paints. It's like an old school Microsoft kind of thing going on. Gateway computer. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And no one else was running it, apparently. You know how it says, like, oh, racing this paint, like, this many people. I typically try to pick one that not a ton of people are running, because, I don't know, it's nice to have a, a unique scheme out there instead of, like, one of, like, six guys that have the same one. And then, uh, you know, I, I try to get uh, something more unique. And this one had zero people running it, and I thought it was a really nice scheme, so I was like, hey, that's a good pick. Uh, I'm very slow, apparently. Uh, 13th. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Are you, one of, are you supposed to be running the high line when it's, uh... When it's fresh like this? I don't know. I did something wrong, though, because 13th is not good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, hey, look, the, uh... Okay, the number did update. So, it's... Whoa. Hey, I'm looking at that. Come on, now. Um, so it did update... It's got the old, like, uh, cube thing going on, Microsoft Gateway. I thought it was some fun colors. Didn't uh, look like anything I'd seen before. Wow. Very bad. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Just be slow, I guess. What else can you do except be slow? Uh, we're in Heat 1, and we uh, have to finish in the top 6 to make it to the future without having to go through any extra steps. And based on my speed, apparently that's not going to be easy. So, we'll see what we can do. We'll just not run into anyone, and maybe they'll all well run into each other. There are some names in here that I recognize in bad ways, but hopefully it won't be a problem. One signed, uh, or, uh, joined in real quick. That's cool. I did see a very clean race here, which kind of made me feel like, hey, maybe this will be okay. Watched on uh, ooh, Justin Schuler's channel. He did a dirt street stock race here at Lanier, and it went remarkably well, clean-wise. So, maybe something about Lanier. People uh, are cleaner here or something. I don't know. Next time by. We have yet to see how this actually goes, though, so... I'll keep my expectations tempered. 
Uh, especially in terms of my speed, apparently. But you got people running into the wall doing green. pace laps. That's not a good sign. Pace car is ready. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Got a pretty good jump there. Run into a guy. Don't be the guy running into people. Now, I guess I'll just try to mimic other people's lines, because they, I assume, know what to do, actually. He's driving over me, damn. You're in fear. Hmm. I don't have the speed out of the corner these guys do. I think I'm jumping in too hard, sliding in too hard, maybe? Gotta take it softer on entry. Hey, that was pretty good. Okay, so I gotta take the entry a little softer, apparently. Alright, I'm learning. I'm watching these guys. Um, not great. Still uh, kind of falling back behind them, but these laps are better than my uh, laps have been. There we go. Okay, now I'm getting it. We are currently in transfer spot. So that's all I need to hear. Really uh, too focused on what I'm doing and <laughs> too early look behind me, but it looks like at quick glance I'm about a second ahead. That should hopefully stick. And hopefully these guys don't wreck in, into each other in front of me. Fighting for spots that don't matter. And they run into each other fighting for spots that don't matter. So that's a thing, but uh, we avoid it. We done did avoided it. And suddenly we're going to be starting farther up in the future if we can keep this spot. So that's nice. Hopefully I don't get, that doesn't mean I'll get run over by guys that are faster. Wow, these guys are just straight up running into each other for no reason. I, uh, I'm going to keep my distance <laughs> if I can. Wow, that, why are you racing this hard? I do not want to be a part of this. Clear outside. Give me all the way down here, because I don't want to touch you. We're in the feature. Touch our P4 and Heat One. Don't stay, stay away from me, please, people behind me. Good job. Very good job. These guys, stay away. Social distance. I, I don't know why you even spun out. Don't even know why you spun out. Don't even know what he's talking about. So we got our four to one steering ratio. It's typically better. Here we go again, Beavers. Um, oh, from what I understand, I'm just gonna mute this because I have a bad feeling about what we might hear <laughs> in these races. Sometimes you hear some very concerning things on voice chat on some of these street stock races. So just gonna go ahead and preemptively do that, so I don't have to do any editing. And, uh, hey, I guess I'll try to commate, commentate uh, heat number two. My options are commentate or uh, just skip it. I'll see how commentating goes, and if uh, you don't want to watch it, I don't blame you. <laughs> we'll uh, have the chapters on the video. You can skip ahead if you'd like. But uh, if you'd like to see whatever nonsense goes on in this race, well, you have that option as well. Wow, options. I figure that's the best way to do it. Give options. So, I'll try to get a good view. Probably from uh, back here a little bit. And uh, we'll keep an eye on the transfer spot. Which again, will be the top six that go to the feature. So, right now we're following the guy that's starting seventh. And we'll have the task of trying to gain one more spot. I'm not going to be good at camera stuff, by the way. Oh, and we're not even live. Wow. I'm good at this. So far so good though, doesn't look like we missed much. We'll just take it from uh, this view. I don't actually know the keybinds to uh, change it, so I'm going to have to keep on this view to keep doing this. Is it left and right? No it is not. Up and down? No it is not. I'll have to learn that if I plan on doing more of these. But uh, for now, looks like everyone's keeping it clean. We'll watch the 17 here, who is in 7th place. So they're going to need to gain one more spot to make it in. Four in, sliding in, almost touching him, but not quite. It looks like he's kind of doing a, well, 
He was doing like a bit of a slider, but at that time he just kind of kept it low. Uh, 17 trying the outside, trying to get past the 9. 9 gets a little bit extra sideways, so, uh, oh, but the 17 doesn't get the run off. That looked like maybe the 9 was a little too sideways. And he does it again. Maybe some contact down there. Uh, so the, there are opportunities, but no one's taken them so far. Except maybe this 4, who just has made the pass on the 17. So the 4 might be heading forward. Heh, <laughs> forward. And, uh, they're gonna need to. They need that on extra spot if they want to avoid the consolation. So, let's see if they can make up that time. They were making the bottom work a little bit. That uh, seems like the preferred line, generally. Uh, until the track slicks off a little bit, and even still, it seems like guys are making it fast down there. So, running that line. Maybe a little uh, too high up on the exit there. Still remarkably clean. So, thankfully, it's looking like this isn't gonna be a disaster like some of these races can be. Might just depend on the track what you get uh, sometimes in these races. But uh, four tries to move up a little bit. Not sure if it's working. So it looks like he goes. Ooh, he goes down low again, but almost tags the nine. Who kind of was slower through that corner, I think. Let's see how desperate they get. How much time we got left? We only got a couple more laps. Or actually, this is the last lap. Look at me being bad at commentating. Is he gonna make a crazy dive to try to get in? He's not going to be able to get there, so it looks like the uh, 9 will hold on and not have to worry about the consolation. Uh, the winner of this race was the number 1. He does seem to be the fastest guy in the lobby, or at least uh, so far. He's been hitting some times. I believe he qualified first um, in the, the overall to begin. Actually, he did not. He got very close, but he was qualified second. Um, of course he would have been in Heat 1, so that would make sense. So, Consolation Race. The first four will make the feature, so we will have one person that does not make it. Assuming everybody's here, yes. So, we got four people gonna make it, and one that will not make it into the race. However, it would look like this guy is not here anymore. So we got ourselves a pointless race. I apologize. I think I will go ahead and skip this because nobody cares. <laughs> I guarantee you that no one in this race even cares that much. I think it'll shift up the uh, qualifying spot, but not much else. So I will say goodbye for now and say hello again once we get ready for the feature. All right, and we're back for the feature. Uh, it looks like we will be starting after our fourth place finish. In that heat we did, 7th of 17, although there's actually 16 in the race because the one guy left. I don't understand why people do that. I don't know why people leave when they still have a chance to be in the future. You'll be I don't know if they just don't know how it works or what, but there's always like one or two people that leave. But um, Consolation Race was so unnecessarily <laughs> combative. We had guys running into each other because they didn't like a move that was made. And it just, it all meant nothing. <laughs> but, like, being ahead one spot in front of the other people. So, I'm hoping we don't get around those people that are just you so do. filled with anger for some reason. 25. But, uh, Let's make them count. Well, we'll see if I can be fast enough. Felt like I learned a little bit watching yeah, you guys. Cut out for us this time, beavers. We need to follow car number six. Do feel like we learned a thing or two watching the guys um, in the heat race. Looks like you do want to kind of like slow down on entry and not overdrive that so you can kind of pick up on throttle a little bit better through the middle and exit. Uh, just hoping that it, this doesn't turn into a big trash fire <laughs> and uh, not be the guy running into the back of people. And maybe have a, a respectable fun race. Cautions will be on, given that this is the... Uh, the non-rookie street stocks, uh, dirt street stocks, so the C level one or whatever. Okay, that guy's getting really close to us from behind. That's already making me nervous. So, uh, maybe we'll get another good start again. In heat race, we had a pretty decent start. Alright, that was pretty good. Good enough, I think. 16. Absolutely diving into that guy. Alright. 
That was not necessary, I don't think. We're just gonna try to keep ourselves on the bottom over here. Not get up into guys, like they are up there. Let's go ahead and try to zoom past that. What is going on? Oh! Please hit your brakes behind me. Jesus. Okay. Well. There was a person stopped on the track. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you don't eliminate anyone through the uh, consolation system. You get the guys that stop in the middle of the track, I guess. Don't know what the deal with that was. We are passing the 10 car. I guess they were in the middle of something. Uh, I'm just going to try to listen to what this is telling me to do and go where it tells me to go. Hello, I am meant to be in front of one of you, maybe two of you. There we go. Apparently this is where we are supposed to be. Uh, is it double file? I don't remember what it is in this series. Single file? Double file? Triple file? What is it? What we got? We'll find out in a second. One left to green. Single file! Alright, that's probably for the best. We got people heating up tires on dirt. I have questions, and I don't think I'm going to get answers, but apparently we have moved forward. We are in sixth. Are they being weird on Mike? Mine does have to. Go green. Stay I don't know. We'll find out. The Watching the leader. He's going. Green, green, green. I don't know if I'm allowed to pass. No, 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 no. You're in They're being weird on Mike, so I'm going to do that in the middle of the corner. I think it'll be a worthwhile investment as they run into each other behind. That 16 is an absolute weapon. Sorry, but you are. So therefore, I'm not actually that sorry. I guess we're in third now, but uh, we got to let people by because they can't make it a lap. And in dirt racing, uh, it reverts to the previous lap, I think, or something. So 16, who's one of those guys that just likes to ruin races, I think. Is now going to have to come back in front of us. Uh, Alright, you've earned it, buddy. Sarcasm here. Will he be able to pass us under caution without running into us? He did it. One round of applause, please. I don't know why he gets a spot back. He was, I'm pretty sure, part of that caution. Oh well, at least we get to keep the other spots we gained. We've moved to fourth. I don't know how. I feel like I haven't done anything yet. It actually says fifth? For some reason? I don't know how the scoring is working here. The three is supposed to be up here, or what? Or the, you know, person in third place. But we're going, so I guess that's what <laughs> what's happening here. He's off. I'm scared of the 16, believe it or not. We're gonna roll the bottom. Okay. Not the fastest line, but I would like to socially distance myself from the 16. Wherever he's from in the real world, I am not far enough away from him still. So. Uh, keep an eye on whatever's happening there. He doesn't just run me over. Being more patient on the throttle because it does look like the track is slicking off. And uh, we actually got pretty decently ahead of him now, so that's good. We're gonna see if we have any sort of speed in the, <laughs> in the qualifying. I sure didn't, but maybe we'll figure something out here. We're gonna be patient. Okay, seems alright. Gotta remember it'd be easier on entry. That seemed like how guys were doing better. That's pretty good. Um, number two's got it figured out. Maybe I should be uh, watching him, actually. But we are uh, moving away from the guys behind. Let me try to see uh, what this two's doing. That's not how he did it. That was completely overdriven. Let's do that. Session last lap. See if we can replicate whatever he's doing up there. So, doing a little bit of that. Hey, there we go. That was some green. Ooh, we got a weird frame drop there. Not a fan of that, but. But well. 16, who is 
a lap down, I guess, is now behind us trying to catch up and run into us, maybe. Actually, you know what? I, I think I did better down here than try, instead of uh, trying to copy what the leader's doing. Let me see if this is working. You just done it. Can't quite uh, figure out what is actually working best right now. A lot of times with these dirt street stocks, the slick doesn't matter as much. You can kind of just drive through it regardless of uh, what the track state actually is. So, it's something to keep in mind, maybe. Let me see if I can uh, kind of grab that little bit of grip down on the low side, maybe, and get some speed. Car stopped ahead, that's unfortunately probably going to be a caution. caution. Yes. Just stop on the track. Pit road is closed. Just go Catch ahead and do it. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Allegedly that 16 is in first. Is he going to be let past us? Look out for the pit speed limit. What's going on with the scoring? Pit road is now open. What is happening in iRacing? Okay. The next car is I don't know if you see that. This is a 16 is he won. That is clearly not the case. In fact, it said he was a lap down very recently. So I don't know what's happening with the scoring. It still says P1. <laughs> uh, go home, I racing. You're drunk. It doesn't even say to let him by. Are they talking about it? One left to green. I don't hear anything. They probably already had a full discussion about it. We'll leave it on for now, see if there's something I'm not understanding. What on earth? Go green, stay focused. <laughs> The is off. Green flag, Sixteen's green flag. got the hacks, I guess. Back in third. Okay, now it says we're in third. Now it says... <laughs> what is it? Okay, so it says he's now... A lap ahead. Ooh! That was a scary thing to see. In my right side. Okay, we're good. So the 16 is just all over the place in terms of scoring. I don't know where he's going to end up finishing, but I guess we just can't worry about it right now unless he runs into the back of us, in which case he's making us worry about it as much as I don't want to worry about it. So uh, let's just hopefully get some distance on him. That's all I can try to do right now. Try to get a grip where we can. Kind of feeling it. I feel uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is going, actually, because uh, I did not think I was going to do very well when I first got in here and qualified almost last. So feeling pretty good about that. I almost wonder if the 16. Something got weird with the 16 because of the way that uh, he was part of that caution, but also not part of that caution or something. I don't know. I really don't. Um, we'll just try to keep away from him and. Not hit the wall and you know all that good stuff. Your last lap time was at so he was the one that was being messy, right? I'm not thinking of someone else. I might I might have got him confused with another person at the start of this race that was concerning me. If that's the case, I'm sorry for <laughs> being cheeky, but dirt dirt oval is already making me nervous all the time anyway, because I'm very uncomfortable on dirt oval. My least uh, Comfortable discipline, probably. Maybe uh, aside from dirt road, if you put me in a in a Pro 2 light, then I'm good. But still, very much new with the anything beyond that. So, if you uh, consider the lights, then dirt oval is my least comfortable discipline on iRacing. But if you're uh, considering the actual Pro 2 and Pro 4 trucks, then maybe those. Those things have me beat, have uh, dirt a little beat in terms of my uncomfortable level. Uh, 16's close to me. I don't like it. 
I'm in this picture and I don't like it. But who knows what position he's even racing for at this point. I have no idea. Maybe it's only my my perspective that's messing up. Maybe for everyone else it's normal. I have to assume it's going to figure itself out by the end of this thing. I sure hope. Because you kind of want people to finish where they deserve to finish. But... You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Not gonna wreck this guy for second or anything, obviously. I feel like I shouldn't have to even say that, but you know, a lot of people that would plenty happily do it. So, try this time a little different, maybe, and get a crazy run, but nah, it's not happening. Hey, P3? Maybe? If the 16 doesn't all of a sudden get the win for no reason? Say something. Good race! Good job. Very good job. <laughs> good win number two. And, uh, Thank well, you. let's okay, go. The race is over. Bring it on in. Uh, Watch your speed. Alright, that's that. That was actually pretty fun. We didn't have a big nuclear oh, meltdown. Thank you. Thank you. Hooray. E3, I think. Oh, I was confused for a second. There we go, P3. That's moving forward, I think. After starting uh, with the qualifying, being dirt slow. Well, I guess dirt slow doesn't work if you're driving on dirt. Uh, molasses slow. And then uh, kind of working our way up through the heat race result. And yeah, and then the most shocking thing of all, the Zero X. Oh my god. In fact, we had a lot of them. So, uh... Nice. Where did uh, they... Okay. So the 16 ended up a lap down. I don't know how that worked. Maybe... Maybe it wanted him at the back of the field after that crash that he was in. And he still moved up to the front anyway. And that's what caused the game to freak out. Maybe he, like, was not having it. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh... Regardless, that's not our race to worry about. We got ourselves a bronze medal on Dirt Oval, and that is always welcome to me. So let's go ahead and see the crashes. The bings and boops and bumps. Like this one, for example. Bang. Yes, we did see that. Thank you. Ooh, nine kind of cleared himself, and then the okay, the three is just like I did not appreciate that. I'm going to full throttle now, and I guess ruin my race and yours. But I don't know why you wouldn't just lift off and maybe you know cut below him. I mean, you see this is happening, and then okay, he cut in front of you. You have two choices here at this point. You can just accept the fact that he slid in front of you and made a bit of a dirty move and maybe lift off a bit and then get him next corner maybe. Or you can be so angry about it, you just full throttle him into the wall, damage your car, and lose several spots. Including one to me. And that's the most depressing thing, isn't it? More things happen, by the way. Up ahead. The number one. Oh yeah, what are... What is happening here? So the caution should have probably come out sooner. Because this guy is just... Oh, he never got going after this wreck. Okay. A couple millennia ago, this wreck happened. And then... Here we are. Alright. This is the name I recognized, by the way. Alright, we're doing an Austin Powers turn. Um, it's in reverse. You do have to put it in a gear that goes forward. And, oh... Now we're in the middle of the field with the leaders coming. That was not very well done. I hate to say it, but it was not. So he just he gets stuck in reverse for a second and then all of a sudden is just right in the path of the leaders. I mean that's kind of on an eye racing too. I think the yellow's gotta come out a little bit sooner. Because these guys come around the corner and all of a sudden there's someone pulling out in front of them and the disaster. Where did the one end up finishing? way back there because he's probably broken so that's not very cool for him clearly he was very fast so 
That's a bummer. 16. Was that a good line by me? I'm sorry. That kind of looked like maybe I was... I think that was a good line by me. Okay. Just it up maybe a little bit, but it didn't cause any problems this corner. The problems this corner happened because the third, three got two sideways and came down and hit the 16. So that wasn't even the 16's fault. Uh, they kind of just got hooked together there. And then the third... <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! We got piggyback riding. So the 13 kind of just doesn't lift, I think. He sees this happening, and he keeps going. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's hard to stop on dirt. So maybe he tried, but big, big wreck there. I imagine there's a couple broken cars and things. Um, are we still... I think we might have still been green. We might still be green still. I don't know. I think we were actually. I think we only had like one caution, didn't we? Maybe not. I think we had one for this too, didn't we? Yep. Well, broke his car. And instead of getting off the track, Alt F4 or anything, yeah, he just stopped there. I remember that now. So. He could have towed. Maybe he tried and didn't do it in time. But, uh. Oh, that's def. Okay, I didn't even acknowledge this the first time. I didn't even comprehend what happened. That's a broken wheel or something. Car just snaps forward like that. His wheel gets disconnected or something like that. So, uh, still think you probably could have towed there and prevented the caution from coming out, but that sucks. That's not really, I can't really fault him for that. These guys sl sliding in and almost hitting him and stuff. They probably should not be full throttling it by him, but Ooh, 17 is lucky that the game was nice to him and decided he did not hit that wall. Not head on. That was it. Wowzers, that's great. And we got some <laughs> donuts on dirt. Gross dirt donuts. Doesn't sound too appetizing. But, P3, after starting off pretty slow, so very nice surprise that I was able to find some speed by watching the other guys and kind of trying to mimic what they were doing. Uh, the patience on the throttle really did uh, did wonders here, I think. Being able to uh, not overdrive the entry and stuff and kind of adjust and learn how to get it uh, around the track pretty well. So, all right, good stuff. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed a dirt oval race. That's a monumental occasion. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as well, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.